Good morning, keyboard cowboys and cowgirls. It's me again. It's a lovely Sunday morning. Some of you are in church right now, some of you are not. Wow, that was an incredibly witty opening liner. We're off to a good start. You know what bothers me? Woman. No, not women, but like woman, like the word woman. Because you can totally go up to a guy and be like, hey man, but you can't go up to a woman and be like, hey woman, it, it just doesn't sound right. It doesn't fly. It just sounds weird. It's something about that extra syllable. And don't say hey lady either, because that's even worse. Hey lady, hey lady, hey, hey, hey lady, lady. Frankly, that's why I'm fond of hey dudette, because dudette carries with it the informality of dude, as well as the feminine aspect of et. However, some people will look at you like an idiot for saying dudette. But then there's chica, which I'm fond of. You're just like, hey, chica, you know, it's really nice, it rolls off the tongue and all that stuff. But some people don't speak a lick of Spanish and then they'll also look at you like an idiot or just not get it. That or they'll go Pulp Fiction on your ass. It's a whole conundrum. Honestly, the best thing to do is not call anyone anything, and just like a non-denominational wintertide holiday, say, hey. Or if you're really trying to talk to a woman, just say, hey, you with the hair. That always works. By the way, I now have that moderator thing for my channel, so go check it out. On my channel, it's a wisdom thingy, which you can put little bits of wisdom, snippets of info, stuff like that, in 250 characters or less. Or you can just use it for questions and suggestions, which somebody did. B-L-K-F-R-H-W-K writes, I'd like to hear your thoughts regarding education of elementary school children in light of the information slash technology revolution. I'd be interested to know what you remember from elementary school and what impact it had. Regardless of what education systems plan to teach or not teach children about technology in elementary school, it's impossible to live in this society and not be exposed to it, so they're going to find out about it anyhow. While as far as I know or remember, the most technological integration we have in elementary schools is just the library computer, I'm sure that education boards will be thinking a few years down the line, or thinking right now, how to implement technology education into the schooling system. While I'm sure everything we've built now will not be going away, I hope that education boards can implement a teaching system that will help to educate kids how to use this technology in a way that's more healthy. At the moment, so many of us are really plugged into the internet, and we don't really utilize it as a tool as I believe it should be. We're pretty much drawn into an entirely new reality outside of our physical bodies. As we lose touch with our physiological responses in our body, we we lose sight of what reality is and the things that really matter. After all, technology is just a higher reflection of our innate humanity, and if we lose that, then we're in for a bad haul. While I feel that this generation is pretty much technologically fucked, I hope that the next generation will have figured it out a little bit better. At the very least, I hope that they would be teaching elementary school children how to have a proper posture, how to avoid astigmatism, and how to deal with different physical aspects of using a computer, like go outside every now and then. Past that, it will become important to teach kids all about the psychological aspects of the internet, such as dealing with phishing, scams, trolls, and other things like that. Indeed, we'll have to teach them safe browsing habits in general and give them the psychological skills they need in order to cope with what the information and technology age really is. While frankly, I don't think they'll need that help as they'll be figuring it out much quicker than any of us ever did, I hope that they'll be a lot better off to start with than we are. See, we might be the pioneers of the art, but they? They'll be the masters. As for my own memories about elementary school, I don't remember too much. This is because I was homeschooled 1st, 3rd, and 5th grade. What I do remember consists a lot of playing hide-and-seek out in large, open, asphalted areas, playing handball, thinking about that one girl, Anna, who I really liked, who could always beat me in the math game around the world, my strange friend, Vincent, who liked to eat ants, and waddling around school one day while waiting for a friend to pick me up from school because I had to go poopy and I refused to use the school bathrooms. Good memories in general even if they don't mean that much to me. Okay, news time. A car bomb exploded outside a Baghdad police station Sunday in the deadliest of a pair of attacks that killed six people in the Iraqi capital. The blast killed four officers, one civilian, the suicide bomber, and wounded 15 people. The hospital officials who reported this spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to talk to the media. Iraq's political leaders are currently trying to figure out who is going to be in control of the next government after the parliamentary election in three months. And while U.S. troops withdraw, Iraq's police and military forces are left to deal with all the attacks. Iraq and U.S. officials fear insurgents and other extremist groups are taking advantage of the political stalemate to stage attacks aimed at reigniting sectarian violence. Keep it together, guys. Please?
Under the Obama administration, the U.S. is shifting gears on teen pregnancy prevention. Everyone is still on message that abstinence should be the core message of any federally funded program, but comprehensive sex education is about to get a boost from the federal government. Michael Carrera, a well-known expert in the field of teen sexuality education and adolescent development, says, I learned that if you spoke about sexuality to young people, they sat still. Students begin the Carrera program at a fairly young age. After a series of failures, Carrera says, he discovered that if you wait until children are teenagers, it's too late. Older boys and girls in the program had not only already begun to have sex, but had also already developed pretty hardened views about relationships and the roles of males and females that were hard to break down. The program also offers comprehensive medical, dental, and mental health care that includes reproductive health care. Philibur says a girl in the program is not only more likely to use contraceptives, but also use protection against sexually transmitted infection. See, basically like anyone, kids want to fuck. Abstinence training is just teaching them fear, but sexual education is power. And as we know, knowledge is power. The containment cap that BP put on the Deepwater Horizon pipe is doing okay, having picked up over the past two days about 700,000 gallons of oil. BP says that they're pleased with the cap's turnout, but Coast Guard Admiral Thad Allen takes issue with this, saying that progress was being made, but I don't think that anybody should be pleased as long as there is oil in the water. He said that he doesn't want to create any undue encouragement, and that we need to under-promise and over-deliver. And frankly, I think that right now, that's the right way to be thinking. This is Way on the Great Adventure. Tagline!